Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be running over liquidity now. Now, liquidity is a key aspect in you know institutional trading and smart money concepts, especially when we want to look for targets in the market as well as potential areas where we do not want to get in. Now, first things we want to understand is what actually is liquidity. <clears throat> so, as we've discussed, the big institutions and you know these market movers strategically move the market in desired directions. Now you've probably seen certain patterns printed in the market. Let's just clean this up a little bit. Something like this, for example. And most people would be drawing this as their resistance level and you know calling it a double top and potentially going to take a short position to the downside with stop loss just under or just above there, sorry. Now this is what we call liquidity. It's basically the buildup of orders, or as we like to look at it, it's where the money is, right? You gotta ask yourself, like, where is the money? Right, where's the money? The money is right here, why? Because people are trying to short. They're trying to go, go short here on whatever pair they're doing. So all their orders are up here. And where are their stop losses? Right above here. So nine times out of ten, you will see the market do something like this. Where they capture liquidity and then reverse in the desired direction. What we call a stop hunt, a liquidity grab, and this is what you want to be looking for in the market. So liquidity can come in many forms, right? It can come as, you know, your standard double top, like so. You can also invert that and see it as a double bottom. However, there's another form of liquidity that not many people know of, and it is trend liquidity. Trend lines also act as a point of liquidity right if we put our money symbol there so all people's stop losses are going to be where above structure points on the trend line so we can also see the market come above a trend and then go back down this is also a form of liquidity grabbing and capturing people's stop losses so now let's transition into the actual market here and you can actually see there is some sort of trend liquidity here on EU uh, in the current market as of, I think, 15 or no, what are we, 17th right now? 16th of January, right? So here is a really good example of trend liquidity, guys, or a combination, actually, of trend and that double, triple top. You can see here as a resistance level, right? Or if someone was trying to draw a little trend line like so, you can see that people have short positions here, stop losses above, targets way below, and what does the market do over here? It comes up and grabs their liquidity, and then it dumps into the desired direction. It's always a favorable outcome when you see a liquidity grab, and then a massive reversal off. You know the direct movement that is about to occur and it's going to be in the following direction, right? So, liquidity, as you can see here, is that double top, right? Now, how do we actually play liquidity, guys? Well, I'm gonna show you. If I go to gold, we had a trade that happened this week. Right? I wanna show you something. Right, let me pull this off. Let's focus on this whole area here. Right? As we're going back to that POI and structure that we learned in the last lessons, we still have a high, lower low, because we broke under, and we're looking to see if we can get a lower high. But now I want to show you what happens in here on the one hour time frame. You can see it on other time frames as well. I'm going to go down to make it a bit easier for you to see. Right? Over here, we have some sort of double top, 
And then as we get up into that area, if we focus on this area right here now, we go into the five minute. So you look at me scale in my time frames so I can make it look a bit easier for you. Look what we get. Another double top. You can see there, right? Another double top. Even if I go down to the one minute, it's all pretty clear, right? Very, very evident that in this area here, guys, there was some level of resistance, liquidity. We then have the market capture liquidity and then break structure. Once you get that, this is a textbook setup because why? Now you know the banks have taken out these early sellers and now you can trade with them. Now also if you look here, there was a form of trend that got what? Wiped out, came up, took out those highs and dropped. And you're probably wondering, well, how do I actually, you know, trade that? Right? Well, just like we learned in the last couple videos, all we looked for, guys, all we looked for back up in this area was that institutional candle. Right? That five minute candle. Or even, you know, this whole push here, this whole candle. And look, we come up, we trade into the imbalances, and we continue getting low. And as you can see, we do it again. We break structure. We come back to the institutional candle based upon this wick here. And we continue dropping. And guys, that is exactly the type of setup you want to be trading. Now, an interesting note, we will go into this in more detail later on, is as we were coming up, we formed a trend that's so very clear on the one minute time frame. You can see we formed a trend. Why? To trap early sellers, to form liquidity. But where's your POI? Up here. That's your entry. This is where you want to be taking your trade out of. So that, guys, is the concept of liquidity and how we trade against it and with it, and also how we can use liquidity as targets. Another example is if you are in a trade, let's say for example, you're long on Euro USD, and I'm just gonna go to the daily for a second, and you see this daily liquidity up here, this double top. You potentially, if you wanna swing, can swing to liquidity, because you know that in that area there is stop losses that need to be hit. Now, we'd love to get a 600 pip move on EU. That would be amazing to just hold that to there. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about liquidity today.